Bye. My name is Esther. I'm a civil engineer at Buildex Studio. And basically what I do is structural design for the company. What is your motivation for going down this career? I think my motivation has always been to, to get solutions and to work towards solutions for, for the environment and the, and the world. Mm. So having been raised up as a firstborn daughter in a, by a single mother, I'm solution oriented and engineering is very solution oriented. So you got into it pretty early? Absolutely. Um, where I grew up, there was always uh, the people who were called the engineers. It was either a KPLC person or a water person. So I grew up wanting to be as important and to be called engineer. So then I just developed my sciences and my physics from that point. So with this career that little Esther aspired for, um, what did your typical day now look like at Buildex? Uh, so my typical day even before build it, it just mm -hmm. starts at 5 a.m. I wake up at 5, go for a quick walk, uh, do some reading every day, and journal a lot. Then by 7 a.m., I've left for the office. By 7.30, I'm in the office. The first thing I do on, on a weekly basis is to plan. Mm -hmm. So I make on Mondays, I make the plan for the whole week, and then I action them. And then on a daily basis, I then get to the office, write out my plan or my program for the, for the day, and reply to emails mm -hmm. as a start, plan out my projects that I'm going to handle, uh, look at any communications internally. After one hour, I just go into my focus time, um, and basically my focus time allows me to concentrate and just put some engineering designs into place. Because my best times to work is morning, I tend to put my focus times in the morning and then in the afternoon I schedule for meetings because um, I'm not just an engineer at Buildex, I'm also a project lead on several projects and I also am the engineering lead so I manage an engineering team. So then afternoons are for meetings and for updating my directors and uh, planning and strategizing with the rest of the team that's in the, that forms the engineering team. Oh, wow. uh, I tend to leave, uh, I leave work at five. Uh, sometimes I work in late, uh, but at five then I go to this and start the second part of my life, which is my master's program. I'm doing a master's in business administration. So my classes start at 5.30 to 9 p.m. After 9 p.m., that's the end of my day. A busy day. Yes, absolutely. Yeah. So with busy days and all these different things that you're doing in project management, um, what are the cha what are some of the challenges that you have faced, and with these challenges, how have you now grown to overcome them? I think the biggest challenge, really, at the start of my engineering, was always burnout. You burn out so fast because um, you're trying to to not just be a good engineer, to also develop and build your capabilities in engineering and, and business development and um, project management. So all that, I used to suffer a lot on, on burnout. So I'd, I'd always work late, get up early, and repeat the cycle. So I've learned to switch off when I get home and just do a little of reading or meditation or journaling. Another challenge would be mentorship at the beginning of my engineering career apart from my then boss um, engineer JM Kariuki I didn't have many mentors and especially female mentors but that has changed over time I've uh, joined many um, bodies professional bodies that have women engineers these um, the women chapters of the Engineers Board of Kenya and the Institution of Engineers of Kenya, WIRE as well, that has uh, engineers. So then that has gradually uh, gotten better, but mentorship was definitely a challenge uh, starting. 
So now, as, as you've risen as a woman and you've just and you've talked about some challenges that you've had, what advice would you give to other women who are looking to pursue this similar career path? Um, my first advice would be to get technical and to understand the subject matter. Mm. As if you're studying structural engineering, do not just try to make or glide your way through it. Understand with technicality the subject and uh, what needs to be done. The second thing would be to get a mentor. I think the role of mentors is understated most of the time. It's very important to have someone that guides you or you can bounce your ideas on or uh, talk to when you're facing difficulties. The third thing would be to just develop character as a person because um, a good engineer has good character because basically engineering means that what you're doing or what you're undertaking or what you're designing in my case as a structural engineer affects life or could lead to loss of life um, majorly so if you if you have good character your designs will show and the people you interact with um, like people say you know people don't give jobs or things to the best people they give things to people they like so building character and being a good person overall is also very important for female uh, engineers and character also is the difference between just working hard and getting what you deserve and trying to take shortcuts on a lot of things and um, the fourth one would be to build capacity um, do not be content with just the basic undergraduate part try to once you get into engineering uh, discover areas that you really want to build on do you want to go into engineering management do you want to go into contracts so if you want to go into contract how do you develop your contract knowledge database and building capabilities do you want to now with your engineering degree also do some contract um, classes or masters in contract or proceed in engineering just something to set you apart um, yes yeah, so you had mentioned why in your previous answer so I'm just wondering in these last couple of years how has why been beneficial to you mm, why has been quite beneficial from when I joined it and my journey with why mm -hmm. that started in 2017 when I became a member the first thing about wire um, being of benefit or the value it's added already is my current job at Buildex Studio. I applied for this job uh, for structural lead through wire and um, it was a posting from an employee of Buildex who's an architectural designer mm -hmm. and also a member of wire. So that was like a very direct, tangible benefit to me. And then the second thing I would say about WIRE is the network. Just being able to have direct access to, to the women within WIRE. I do not have to look so far when I'm looking for architects or QSs or anyone else, planners. Uh, there's always a database that I can go to and people I can approach that are able to give solutions. So the network has been quite beneficial in itself. Um, the other thing I've gotten from WIRE is the mentorship opportunities. I have a mentor that's within WIRE and I also mentor uh, two WIRES that uh, are also learning from me and uh, as I learn from them. Yeah. Well, uh, thank you so much for your time here. You have taught me a lot and I'm sure that your answers will be beneficial to many women looking to pursue engineering in any sort of way. Thank you, Teshi. Uh, I'm glad you're the one that had to interview me because um, not long ago I was in your position, a young girl in high school and just learning from other people or just trying to understand the career path of women in technology or women in science. So it's been a pleasure to have you interview me as well. Thank you.